So a warm welcome to day 14 of the Hacker Rank Coding Challenge and today we are going to be talking about scope. Uh, so this basically is part of the concept of object-oriented programming. So we want to learn about instance variables. Now the task is this, complete the difference class by writing the following, a class constructor that takes an array of integers as parameter and saves it to the element instance variable. Now, let me just tell you one thing you need to know. In Python, instance variables are represented using the self keyword. So self dot, whatever comes after is instance, is an instance variable and not a class variable. So we are going to see how it plays out as we complete this challenge. Then we are going to have a compute difference method that finds the maximum absolute difference between any two numbers in the elements and stores the maximum difference in stores it in the maximum difference instance variable. All right, I would like to go to my board. So let's see. So we are talking about in this case we want to compute. We have a number of items. We have let me use the blue. So five, actually want to use something smaller, six, eight, nine, eleven. Okay. So how do you compute the maximum absolute difference? For instance, we say two minus five, that gives us uh, the absolute value should be three. Five, six is one. Uh, if we do eleven, nine, that's two. But if we do eleven, two, that gives us nine. So the first thing we are going to do is to sort. So once we sort it, we now take the index at zero, the index at point zero, and the index at the end, at the length of the array. So once we subtract this, we get the maximum difference. So the key word is that we have to sort the element. Let's go to solve the problem. So I'm going to scroll down to the challenge. So add your code here. C. Okay. So the function we are going to write is called maximum difference. Let me see. So there is a okay. We have the constructor, we have the element. So let's write the maximum difference function. So I'm going to say maximum sorry, df maximum difference. Um, don't forget to use self. Okay, perfect. Now the instance variable is already here in this class, which is this variable right here. So the first thing we want to do now is to sort this variable. So I'm going to, I'm going to say, um, underscore self, sorry, dots, underscore, underscore, element, dot sort. So it's going to sort it in place. And the difference, let's call it DIFF, or the absolute difference will now be um, self, dot, element, uh, give me one second, self, dot, element, at point zero, minus minus uh, self the elements uh, at point what at point line self dot elements so this will be the diff the maximum absolute difference will be the smallest uh the the, the so if I let's see so it's actually, I'm going to turn it the other way around. So let me just copy this and put it minus cell with elements at point zero. So I'm going to just return. The cell we should store it. We should store it in the maximum difference instance variable. So again, we are going to say self dot maximum difference equal to diff. All right. So that's what they require of us. I think this should be fine. So let's test it just to make sure if, to see if everything is fine. So this should be 
this. I'm going to run this code right now and let's see if it works. All right, so it says difference object has no attribute compute difference. Let's see. Um, okay, so this should be compute difference and not maximum difference. So this should be compute difference should be the name of the function. So let's just run the code one more time. Hopefully this time it works. Um, listen that's out of range. Yeah, so here we are going to say Len cell that elements minus one because it's the, the Python arrays are zero based, so we have to say minus one. So let's run it one more time. <laughs> yeah, so you can see the sample test case is passed. I'm going to now submit this code and let's see what happens. All right, I think everything went fine. So we succeeded in going through all the six test cases. And if you've come this far, I would like to give you a thumbs up. Thank you for being there. And we are continuing in the next challenge, which will be day 15. Meanwhile, I would like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and also feel free to leave me a comment if you have any challenges or if you have any questions, or if you just want to motivate me with a comment, that would be great. So remember, I'm kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.